Hey everyone, Dustin from BTS Lighting here. Today we're braving snowstorms to bring you an in-depth review of off-road lighting for your vehicle. We're talking colors, beam patterns, locations, all to find out what works best for these extreme conditions. We've got three light colors on the testing block, white, amber, and blue. Now conventional wisdom says amber is your go-to for snowy conditions, but there's a growing camp, especially in places like Alaska, that swear by blue. And then there's white, the brightest of them all, but potentially a double-edged sword in these blizzard conditions. Before we get started, let's get the legalities out of the way. Using a blue light is likely illegal. So it's best to keep it to off-road use only or make sure you're checking with your local state and provincial laws. Right here in the fog light slots, we've got the street legal Dowd Dynamics SAE fog and SAE driving three inch pods. The lowest lights on our rig. Moving up, we've got the SS5 five pod cross link on the bumper. And for the high ground, SS5 combos as ditch lights and an eight pod SS5 spot beam cross link on the roof. We tested these bad boys in headwinds, sidewinds, you name it. And here's the kicker. It wasn't so much about the color as it was the position of the light. On the drive back after filming, anything above the headlight just glared us out. The brightest lights grab your focus but that also means any glare or back spill makes it tougher to see ahead. At higher speeds, the glare becomes your worst enemy. Now for the shocker. In our tests, blue took the crown, but hold your horses. Not for every light in every position. It turns out the higher up you go, the greater the impact of having a blue lens or filter over your light. Anything for down low, I would suggest sticking with white or yellow. Amber distorts your view a bit. White's natural, but blinds in a blizzard. And blue, it gives you that white light with just a hint of blue, cutting through without the harsh reflection. And remember guys, safety first. We kept our tests off road to reduce safety concerns and risks in these zero visibility conditions. And make sure, Check with your local, state, and provincial laws before you even think about using a blue lens. Your takeaway, it's all about how you use these lights. Blue on the bumper could be a winter warrior, but if that's off the table, an SAE fog amber light down low is your all weather friend. So, white, amber, or blue? Well, it's a mix. But with the right setup, you're ready for anything. If you liked what you saw today, smash that like button, hit the follow, Make sure you head over to btslighting.com and most importantly, stay safe and light up your adventures the right way. Dustin Elm.